Today, on Kitchen to Table, we're making beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff is a typical Russian dish made with beef braised in a mustard flavor broth and served over potatoes. The dish was popular in the 1890s during the times of the Russian Tsars. It became famous in 1891 when a French chef working for the Stroganoff family in St. Petersburg entered his recipe in a contest sponsored by a French magazine. Americans adapted the recipe using beef braised in a broth, thickened with flour and sour cream, and then served over egg noodles. Today, we're going to make our beef broth from scratch using beef marrow bones and shank bones. We're also going to make our homemade noodles from scratch. So we're going to braise our beef marrow bones and some butter. be a while. Just look at all that delicious marrow. That is good eats. That is liquid gold. Look at that. Oh my God. Keep it in your pants. This is the shank cut. It's got a lot more meat on it and it'll give the broth a nice brothy flavor. We're gonna saute this in that hot oil and butter. Add a little salt to this. pepper. I'm going to slice up this onion. So now, all of this brown stuff at the bottom, that's called fond in French. And we're gonna, that is all super delicious. And we're gonna de deglaze this pan with some. And this is called deglazing. See how all that stuff comes off? But that is just so delicious.
about six cups of water. And add some veggies to it. Celery. Add a couple bay leaves to it. Oops, there's too many. Add some thyme to this. We're gonna pressure cook this for an hour. One hour later. So we're gonna strain off the broth. And now, we're gonna take our London broil hunk of meat. Don't wait on any big events like um, I've worked in Blackpool Tower. <laughs> Some butter. Now we're going to brown this. We're gonna saute the other half of the musher of the of, of the onion a little bit of that same fat that came out of there. Let these soften up a little bit and then we'll deglaze the pan again like we did before with some wine. And it tells me when it's time for a little top up. Let's deglaze this with some more wine. So let's cut up this meat. Whoa, 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 whoa,
So let's pour a little bit of this broth back in here. And we'll let this pressure cook. for another 60 minutes and we'll proceed on with the mushrooms and sour cream okay meanwhile so for our egg noodles we're going to take two cups of flour a half teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of salt add some eggs to it these are two eggs Teaspoon, a half cup of water. Scrape some of this down so it mixes right. Nice sticky Come on. ball of dough. Nice supple dough. We'll need this a little bit just. Get it all to come together. Cover it with some plastic wrap so it doesn't dry out. Let it rest for 20, 30 minutes to hydrate all that flour. And then we'll work it into noodles. I'll pay up some of these mushrooms. So let's add a little garlic to these sauteing mushrooms. So let's add a little bit more fat. And we can make our roux. The roux is nothing but fat and flour cooked together. And some of our broth to make our sauce. Problem. What's Tony? 
I don't want to. I don't want a what? You don't want a what? So let's add some mustard to our sauce. Let's add some Worcestershire. Some what? Worcestershire. What did he say? To our sauce. Let this cook and thicken up. Add our meat back to the sauce. So in goes the noodles. Because this is fresh pasta, it's gonna cook pretty quickly. We'll let that cook for a few minutes. And now for the final touch. The ingredient that makes this stroganoff really special. Sour cream. So there we have it, my friends. Beef stroganoff of St. Petersburg, Russia. <laughs>